So ideally we want to try to follow through with almost a flat racket. And then if there is a chance for slice, that's when we're going to try to turn the racket and get under the ball. Today's subject is low volleys. So why are they so difficult? There are a million reasons, but I'm going to give you a couple. Number one, because a lot of us choose to not bend our knees and instead bend from our waist. So what's going to happen is by the time you do that, your eyes are going to be looking down and your racket is going to drop. So guess what? The V is going to drop. So your slice is going to come from the top of the racket. So if your racket is dropping, you're not going to have much chance for a slice. The other reason why they're so difficult is because a lot of us choose to hit the ball when the ball is already below the level of the net. So by the time you do that, even if you get to the ball, you're going to have to pop it up. So it already becomes a defensive volley. So we got the net as an obstacle. So how to do them properly? Well, number one, we want to try to keep your back straight. So we're bending from your knees. We're not bending from your waist. So ideally, when you bend from your knees, you're, it's going to be easier for you to keep your upper body straight. And as I mentioned, in the high forehand volleys, if you want to listen to that video, I'm going to put a link over here. We want to make sure that you're extending the follow through and then you're cutting at the variant. A lot of us put way too much emphasis on the slice and we end up slicing too soon. So notice that there really isn't that much of a chance for slice because the ball is so low. So ideally, we want to try to follow through with almost a flat racket. And then if there is a chance for slice, that's when we're going to try to turn the racket and get under the ball. Also, body positioning is very important. If you're talking about a low forehand volley, we want to make sure that we go back to the concept of separating upper body from lower body. So your lower body is going to be used for balance and the upper body is going to be used for power. So again, we're going to try to keep your back straight, bend from your knees. Lower body is going to give you control and then upper body is going to follow your arm. Extend your follow through with almost a flat racket and eventually you give it a little bit of a slice by using your forearm and your hand. In the case of the back end, the same thing applies when it comes to body positioning. We want to try to separate upper body from lower body. In this case, your upper body and your lower body are going to give you control because your arm is already in front. So there's no need for a rotation. If you do rotate, by the time you rotate, your shoulder is actually taking the racket away from where you want to go. So if you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow and it helps us realize what it is that you guys would like us to talk about.